there's no one walking up behind me. Well, this, uh, yeah, and I mean, even as uh, Jesse Jackson alluded to uh, a, lo a long time ago, that if he sees a group of uh, teenagers or young men uh, walking uh, down the street or he hears them behind him and he's relieved to see that they're something to the effect that they're white or not black. Uh, but this, I mean, this takes it to a whole nother level. I mean, um, Drudge links stories. He, you know, he didn't break this news. So he, there are stories from uh, Channel 2 here in New York where it's happened in uh, Jewish areas um, and also from other uh, cities. And uh, one in particular where um, uh, one person turned a gun on his attacker. The attacker try, tried to knock him out with a taser. And he turned around and he uh, he pulled his gun and, and he shot the guy twice. So, um, I mean, I, I, you say it's not new. So uh, how long do, has this been going on? Is is, is this something uh, that prevalent in, in, in the African-American young community that I just haven't heard about until now? Wait a minute. George has been reporting these stories for at least two or three years. And it has involved uh, gangs of young, mostly African-American, if not all, going into stores, they call them flash mobs, and in some cases it's been just them going into stores, just ripping off the merchandise, and I'm talking about maybe 15 or 20 people. Oh yeah, no, I know about that, and we, we've had the author of uh, White Girl Bleed a lot uh, on this show, so I'm no stranger to the, the you know, the, the black uh, the black crime, the gang attacks and on whites and the, uh, the you know, just the uh, the ordinary attacks on whites, not in not in a gang form, but I'm, I'm well aware of all that, and the media doesn't report any of it. You're absolutely right. But this, I mean, this is something that's, uh, I, I don't know, a lot worse for the person who's the victim. They, you know, they, they, they could fall, hit your head and be killed if you're, if you're punched by someone and you don't see it coming, uh, and these people go down and they're just unconscious and they lay there and either they're dead or they're, they're very seriously injured. So I just, we're just wondering if this knockout game was something that's been going on for quite a while. I mean, it, it, maybe it's been called something different, but to me it's the same old crime. That crime is a problem in black communities, especially among black youth. It doesn't get attention. The only time we hear the civil rights community involved is when someone is, is, someone is killed, when there's someone that's shot that's unarmed, and apparently these young people are unarmed. They're armed with a fist. And, uh, and people, you know, are going to try to protect themselves. And so you can expect that if this continues, you will find more people that will be shot as a result. Maybe the young people will lose their lives. And then you'll get the civil rights community up in arms. I believe that we have an opportunity right now to get involved in addressing the problem and that we have to stop making excuses for young people's crimes, for violence in the black community. We have to stop ignoring it. We have to stop making excuses for it. And we have to begin to hold people accountable because if you don't hold them accountable for their acts, then they're going to continue to behave in an irresponsible manner. Yeah, all right, well said. Carol, as always, thank you very much. Enjoyed having you. Bye-bye, Carol Swain, ladies and gentlemen, author and professor at uh, Vanderbilt University School of Law uh, here on the Steve Malzberg Show, talking about the, uh, the vicious knockout game, which is uh, sweeping uh, America, unfortunately. And we're going to hopefully be joined by uh, uh, Quanell X, national spokesman for the New Black Panther Nation, it says here. I, I don't know if that's different than the New Black Panther Party or not, but we'll talk to him uh, about this and see what his take is. And I can't wait for that! Because I can imagine that his take on it and my take on it are going to be uh, quite different. Now, I do want I do have a, a report here from WLIX uh, uh, TV, uh, ILX, W I L X uh, TV um, about um, um, uh, something in Lansing, uh, Michigan, uh, an event that took place, and that's where the the 17 year old t tried to tase uh, his victim, and the victim pulled out his legally uh, carried handgun and shot. Uh, the 17 year old twice uh, he wasn't killed or anything as a matter of fact the 17 year old is now in jail i think he got a year uh so let's listen to cut number